Hey everybody, Pastor Sam here, and I am outside of the Castle Dracula. Blah, blah. This is the little town of Shalott, Iowa. It's in Clinton County. It's a town so small that it's not even on my map. And in this town, there are two castles that have been locked in battle for over a century. And this is the Dark Castle. The Assumption Church. And this was the domain of the pedophile priest, James Jansen. This is where he operated. This is where he worked. Oh, look, we got some flyers. We can take a souvenir. James Jansen used to fly this town, New Nile, all over others. I'm going to get to the confiscation of our guns. You see, there's an alien ideology that is attacking our American belief in self-rule and self-defense. That we can rule ourselves, make our own laws, sit on juries, judge violators, hang them, or give them away to the jailer to be imprisoned according to those prescriptions. This is what's enshrined in our Constitution. Those doctrines are considered heretical today by this world entity. So one mile from here is the Little Lutheran Church, and they have been locked in battle until just a few years ago. Of course, in 2017, we celebrated 500 years of Reformation since Martin Luther started the Reformation with uh, the nailing of the 95 Theses to the door of the Wittenberg Chapel in Wittenberg, Germany. By the 490th anniversary, the Lutheran Church of Iowa and the Catholic Church had buried the hatchet, decided that they were not any more uh, disagreed. But see, this is an alien theology, and the Catholic Church contends to this very day that our Constitution, our Declaration of Independence, are heretical doctrines. Now, I may just come on to Washington, D.C., where our right to defend ourselves is being chipped away at. It's being challenged. And the two states where that is occurring are Maryland and Virginia, to the two states in this great nation that are named for the heathen goddess, the queen of heaven. So yes, we have these states named Maryland, and named, this is supposedly the Virgin Queen, Virginia, and those were states where loyalists and royalists, which ran together, populated. This is the original immigrant invasion. Poor Europeans from France, oh, they were white people too, but they believed that they had to bow down before a man. And they did not believe that they have one mediator between God and man, the man Jesus Christ. And in this place, boy, did they bow down before a man, before this notorious child predator, prolific predator. In 1991, he retired from pastoral duties, which just meant that he could run around in his classic cars, candy apple red, 1965 Mustang convertibles with white top and white seats. Pick up little boys. He hurt a lot of people in this town. So when you hear about Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself, when you hear about Bill Clinton is a rapist, when you hear about these things and you wonder how that affects you, you look at your own hometown and see what was going on there. Because just this one man, he was convicted on multiple counts. I, actually, he made a deal. This was in the days of the making of deals. And then he died and was swept under the rug. But the fact is, there are many, 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 many troublemakers just like him. Many converts that he brought into his deviance. This is the vine of Sodom. It's always been against the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's diabolical. This is a beautiful little town. It's a slice of America. 
You know, Iowa has rolling hills and beautiful farmland. There's dairies here, cattle and corn. You can grow anything here. Lovely curved roads coming into town that if a young fellow, broken from being raped and knowing that his family was in on it and his parents knew about it, had a death wish and a hot-rotted Pontiac GTX. Oh, the fun he could have tempting fate going around those corners just as fast as he could coming into this town. Audience, that's probably you. I'm talking about particular people that I know were hurt, but you know what? This is the story of America. It's we're locked in battle with the vine of Sodom and the true vine of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's coming to a head because it's in these places where loyalists, people that were loyal to King George, see the Anglican Church by 1776, although it was a Protestant church, really the original Protestant church found in the original Protestant nation, it had become like and come back into communion with, whether it was uh, overt or covert, it had come back into communion with the Catholic Church. That's why we had to fight them. And that's why the loyalists and the royalists kind of look the same. These are people that believe that somebody should rule over them and that they're not able to rule themselves and that they shouldn't defend their women and their children but rather hand them over to monsters. No. By the way, Shalat is Charlotte. But if you ask somebody from around here, they say Shalat. And you know what? That's fine. The Archdiocese of Dubuque, which is just right up the river, this is Clinton County, go right up the river, that used to run, be in charge of all of the lands, all the way up into Canada and up the Missouri River. It was the seat of Catholic power. Our own capital, Des Moines, means the monks. There was a monastery built on the Des Moines River. So long ago in our history, about 1800, this area was being claimed as a bastion against Christian America, which was mostly in the East. People were coming down from Canada. Just look about, look it over. 50 Years in the Church of Rome is a great book that tells all about this, all about the original immigrant invasion, who was behind it. And you know, D Dubuque was the archdiocese for all of that land, and Dubuque is a haunt of witchcraft today. Loras College is there. It's named after the Bishop Loras that f founded all of those places and tried to start what we see here, all of these monstrosities. And he's venerated, and you know, I, I think his bones are there in the cathedral someplace. You know, Bill Sneblin's from there too, who wrote Blood on the Doorposts and Lucifer Dethroned, excellent texts on spiritual warfare. If you want to know how to fight these people, go get Bill Sneblin's books. He's from around here, and he came to the Lord after being a witch doctor and a blood drinker. And uh, like Shalot, Sneblin is Schnoblin, S-C-H-O, S-C-H-O. N O E. Sneblin. Schnobelin. Get his books if you want to know how to beat this. But we have to stand up and resist it and admit that it happened. Reporting. Telling the whole truth from Shalott, Iowa, Clinton County. I'm Pastor Sam.